Welcome everyone to the Blackwell Convergence. A point and click adventure game made by Wadget Eye Studios and Dave Gilbert. Uh, featuring Rosa Park, Rosa Parks, Ro <laughs> Rosa Blackwell and her ghostly guide, Joy Malone. Let's get started. Hello? Anybody there? You really expecting an answer? I was just checking. Well, you checked. Now open the door and let's see what's in there. Sure. I can't see anything in there. I can't see anything in there. I can't see anything in there. Joey, the door is locked. Yeah, I can see that. Looks like it's up to me. What do you see? Nothing. Yet. I'll see if there's a way to open that door. There's a lot of dust covering those sheets. Can't say much for the decor. Look at all those people scurrying around down there. This must be what success feels like. Just an old desk. I can't open the drawers. I can't touch them. You need to be an asshole about it. Mm. There's a lot of dust covering those sheets. It's the way out of here. Looks like a paper clip. Well, it can generate a light breeze. Hey, Dollface, I got a present for you. Joey, a paper clip just blew past my shoe. It's all yours, darling. <laughs> what do I do with this? Try opening the door with it. Does that actually work? Sure, why not? I have no idea how to do this. Just keep trying, darling. It's an old door. It shouldn't be any trouble. It keeps slipping. This isn't going to... work. Oh, ye of little faith. No ghosts. Not yet. You think something's coming? Not sure. I feel... something. Might as well take a look around first, just in case. Hey, think we're done? Not yet, dear. Let's poke around some more. There's nothing on there but dust. I'm not opening the window. It's pouring outside. I wonder how much a view like this costs. Probably worth millions. Even if it is haunted. Relatives of yours, Joey? Huh? You know, 
the spooky sheet. I don't get it. Never mind. <laughs> Looks like an old desk. I can't move the desk. It's too heavy. All I could find was a newspaper clipping. Looks like an obituary. Joey's been around for almost six months now. Maybe someday I'll actually get used to this. Joey? Can I help you? Why are we here again? You feeling okay? You read the article, same as me. Read it again if you can't remember. A man jumped out of a window in this building. Suicide? Seems so. I wonder if it was one of these windows. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. If it were... It's dark in here. Yeah, I noticed. Nobody's around to pay the bills, I guess. It's freezing in here. Hey, you want some cheese with that wine? Yeah, yeah, I'm soaking wet. I have the right to complain. Do you have to do it so loudly? It's fine for you. You can't even feel the rain. Lucky for me, I'm dead then. <laughs> I don't think there's a ghost here, Joey. Whatever made the renovation stop, it wasn't supernatural. I don't know, dear. I've developed a good sense for this sort of thing. There's something here. We just gotta look. I don't think there's a whatever. I, I've de there's. That's all for now. Sure. The view from here is incredible. Whoever She's just beginning to dry off. She's just beginning to dry off. Not to interrupt, darling, but let's talk. Yeah, Joey? Nice job opening that door. A compliment? How rare. I'm being sincere. You've got a real knack for breaking and entering. Great. You just gonna stand there? Do something productive, why don't you? I'm doing the best I can. What else can I do? Investigate. Move stuff around. Use those hands and arms. I gotta think of everything. You just gonna stand? Do something. I'm doing the best I can. Invest. I gotta think. It's a long way down from here. If you want to jelly up the pavement, this is a good place to make sure it's done right. That's kind of tasteless. Just saying. Well, let's get back to it. Yeah. I'm not opening. I guess the weather is appropriate. If there was ever a perfect day for a ghost, this is it. I hope the rain stops before we're done. I'm not looking forward to going back outside. I'm not floating out in the rain unless I have to. Aha! Uh -huh. What is it? I think we've found our guy. What's he doing out there? There's only one way to find out. I am not climbing out onto the window ledge. What are you kidding? Leave the dangerous stuff to the dead guy. A spook on a window ledge. Now I've seen everything. A spook now. You'd think that I would have gotten used to seeing ghosts by now, but they still creep me out. You'd think that I- but they- Alright, let's see what this spook has to say. Yeah, I know the drill. I'll wait here. Cozy and dry inside. Lucky girl. Hello in there. What? I said hello! I can't hear you. Never mind. What? I said n- Ah, forget it. <laughs> it's 
snazzy as it would be, I can't just float off into the skyline. Besides, I've got a job to do. Snazzy as it is. He's a balding middle-aged guy. He looks kind of scared. Hello. Stay back. I mean it. I'll do it. What are you doing out here? I... I don't know. There's no place left for me to go. There's gotta be a better place than this. Come on inside. Don't come any closer. I swear, I'll jump. Jump? You're here to kill yourself? Maybe. I don't know. I can't think of anything else to do. Hey, let's get out of this rain. What rain? Um, this rain? Take a look around. It's pouring cats and dogs out here. I don't feel any rain. That's because... Ah, forget it. Um, I think this might be too little too late. What do you mean? I mean you can't kill yourself. You're already dead. What? I said you're already dead. That's... sick. You're insane. Get off my ledge. Hey, are you Alan Riken? It's been a while, you might not remember. No, I don't remember at all. Although, I've had a lot on my mind. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I thought you could use someone to talk to. Did my wife put you up to this? Wife? No, no, just here for an old friend. Okay... I'm not sure who you are, but you seem to know me. What do you want to talk about? Listen, Alan. Concentrate and take a look around. Doesn't anything seem... strange? Out of place or off kilter? No. You don't remember... falling? Falling? No! Of course not! I came out here and stayed! I haven't jumped yet! Right, right. Never mind. Listen, Alan. Concentrate. Doesn't... Out... You don't... I... I... Right. Nice view, huh? Is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Makes you feel like you're king of the world. I used to feel that way. Now, I'm not sure. Surely things can't be all that bad. Oh, surely they can. Do you know what it's like to lose everything? To have everything you loved and struggled for just vanish? I know something about that, yeah. Then you know what I'm going through. So what happened, Alan? What brought you to... this? A fire destroyed my entire stock. The resulting lawsuits bankrupted me. That's no reason to kill yourself. You don't understand. I spent my life building this business. When it happened, I lost everything. Everyone deserted me. People I thought were friends. Even Sandra. Sandra? My wife. Where is your wife? She left. She won't even talk to me. I just get phone calls from her lawyer. I thought she'd stick by me. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Hey, your wife's inside. Really? Yeah, she wants to talk to you. I don't believe you. Come on, now's your chance to win her back. Well, all right. There she is. That's my wife? That's Sandra? Wife? Sure, don't you recognize her? It's hard to see clearly for some reason. Is that red hair? She dyed it. Go on, talk to her. Sandra? Is that really you? Uh, sure. Sure, it's me. I'm Sandra. Why are you here, Sandra? Well, uh... I, uh, made a mistake, Alan. I shouldn't have left you. A mistake? Why should I trust you now, Sandra? After you left and sick lawyers on me, taking what little I had left. You destroyed me, Sandra. If I jump, it'll be your fault. Hey, wait. She was trying to be nice. Way to go. I've never been a wife before. Oopsie.
Joey, I'd like to talk to you. Can I help you? A man jumped out of a window in this building. Suicide? Seems so. I wonder if it was one of I would That's all for now. Sure. Hey Red, you got a minute? Sure, what's up? Well Yeah. I'm gonna take another crack at him. Okay, I'll wait here. Hey, Alan. Oh, you again. The world's full of pretty broads, Alan. You shouldn't get all weepy over just one. Come on. Look at me. I'm pushing 50, overweight, and not to mention broke. What woman would want me? Hey, you like redheads? Huh? It's a simple question. Do you like redheads? Sure, I guess. Great, I've got a girl who's perfect for you. You do? Sure, she's inside. Wanna meet her? Is this a trick? Of course not. Okay. There she is. Go on, introduce yourself. She's kinda young for me, isn't she? Don't let that stop you. Ew. What are you doing? Shh! Go on, Tiger. She's waiting. So... You've been asking about... me. Oh, um... sure. Really? Why? Well... uh... You seem like a... nice... guy. A nice guy? Sure. Let me tell you something, lady. Women don't like nice guys. What's your angle? You're not interested in me. Wait. I'm wasting my time. Thanks for trying, but this isn't going to work. Hey, wait! She was trying to be nice! Did you just try to set me up? Just call me Matchmaker Malone. I'm not seducing a ghost. You don't have to go all the way. N-O spells no. <laughs> I'm gonna take an- Okay. Hey, Al- Oh. Hey, there's some venture capitalist inside. Wants to talk to you about starting another business? Really? Someone wants to start a business with me. That's what she said. Why don't you come inside and talk to her? Well, okay. There's your investor. She's heard about your old business and wants to join forces. Is that right? You bet. This isn't some kind of gag? Of course not. She's loaded. Go on, talk to the lady. So, what's the story? You really want to invest in a bankrupt publishing supply company? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Why? Well, uh... Actually, I just wanted to see if you were as pathetic as everybody says. Uh, what? What? Do business with you? Ha! Huh, that's a laugh. You're the joke of the publishing world. You're right. Hey, you gonna let her talk to you like that? Huh? Stand up for yourself, man! Stand up for myself? You gonna let people push you around all your life? You're right! You're right! Let her have it. Hey, lady. You don't know anything. I built this business from scratch. I clawed and wheeled and dealed all the way to the top. You see this office? You see that view? Look me in the eye and tell me I don't deserve it. I've worked all my life to be the best. Okay, I had one big setback. Maybe I thought it was over, but it's not. I got this far once, I'll do it again. You can take your money and shove it where the sun don't shine. I don't need you. Get out of here. Bravo. That felt good. Quite a rush, huh? I feel like I can do anything. Like I've got a second chance. Uh... First thing I'm going to do is buy back this office. Yeah, about that? I made some mistakes before. I won't make them again. Uh... I might have fallen once, but... But... Wait. I fell, didn't I? I remember now. I'm sorry. You're not really looking to invest, are you? No. 
I'm not. I went out onto the ledge, and I slipped. I don't know why I went out there, but I wasn't going to jump. I was confused. For some reason, it seemed like the right thing to do. Stupid. Stupid. What a stupid way to die. Hey, what happened to that can-do attitude of yours? It makes no difference now, does it? Maybe not to anyone else, but it does to you. Huh. Maybe you're right. So what do I do now? Just take a hold of this. Okay, do it. Ouch. Another day, another satisfied spook. I'd call this day done, wouldn't you? Yeah, although... What? Isn't there something we're supposed to do tonight? I don't think so. I feel like we're forgetting something. I'd ignore that feeling if I were you. I have nobody to call. I rarely do these days. Those are fine where they are. Just a bunch of old articles I wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. I don't know why I kept them. I hated working there. I picked up that clock at a tag sale. The hell is a tag sale? It's fine where it is. A landline telephone. One of the few left in the city, I'm sure. Since Joey blocks airborne signals, there's no point in getting a cell phone. 7 p.m. The Park Gallery with Nishanti. Oh, crap. What time is it? 7.15, damn it! She's going to kill me! What's your problem? The gallery opening, don't you remember? She invited us to go. Us? All right, me. But you're still coming. You really want to go to some stupid gallery? We're going. I'm not flicking out on her again. It's not nice. Fine. Whatever. Do what you like. It's not like I have a choice. My computer. It's not the latest model, but it does the job. Wow, that's like an old GeoCities page.
This was the last article I wrote for the Village Eye. It was also my very first case as a medium. I don't want to mess with it. It's not much, but it's mine. I don't want to get fingerprints all over it. Joey looks angry. Of course, that's nothing unusual. Auntie looks kind of happy. I wonder what she was smiling about. My mother died in a car crash soon after I was born. She looks so young in this picture, more like a kid sister than a mother. My father died in a car crash soon after I was born. Looking at this picture is like looking at a stranger. Mmm, cake. I don't know why I even bother keeping that. Remote controls don't work when Joey is around. I don't know why remote... It. It's full of rejection letters from publishers. Best place for them. Mm -hmm. 12 Steps to Getting Your First Novel Published Parts 1 and 2 I never could get past step number 4. I've read them all. When was the last time I watered that plant? I think it was a week ago. I'm surprised it's still alive. I'll water it later. Hey Griff, how are you today? Fluff all secure? Holding yourself together? Awesome. It's Griff, the P.I. Bear. I've had him since I was a kid. He's really starting to show his age. I sold all of my books to a used bookstore last month. Didn't take long for the shelf to fill up again. I've read them all. I picked this up at a tag sale years ago. Some people think lava lamps are tacky, but I think they're cool. It's fine where... With Joey around, it's impossible to get a decent reception. Somehow, he blocks TV and radio signals. I got cable installed last month. Seems to do the trick, even though I rarely watch TV. I can't think of anything I want to watch. So? That's why you watch TV, because there's nothing to watch. We almost look like a real family with Joey standing there. The most dysfunctional family in the country, but still. Auntie Lauren and me, on the Brooklyn Bridge. I don't remember anything about that day. I barely remember Auntie. All my life I wanted to know more about her. I never imagined that she was a medium. I look scared out of my mind. Maybe I could sense Joey, even then. If so, I had a good reason to be scared. Yeah, it's fake, but you can hardly tell. It's an African ghost drum. It's supposed to keep ghosts away when you play it. It doesn't work. <laughs> it's fine where it is. This couch came with the apartment. I have no idea how old it is. I don't have time to sit around. It's too early to sleep. My bedroom door, or as I like to call it, my illusion of privacy. Yep, he's still there. Joey, I'd like to talk to you. Uh-huh. I'm thinking of getting a new computer. Oh, really? Yeah, it's been kinda slow and clunky lately. Well, you'd know more about slow and clunky than me. Hmm. I'm thinking of getting a- Oh, really? Yeah. Well- Hmm. You wouldn't happen to know where the park gallery is, would you? Uh, no. I have to find the address. We're already late. You're resourceful, dear. You'll figure it out. So what should we do now? Well, you're so keen on that gallery. Might as well scoot. I have no idea where the gallery is. Well, don't look at me. You want to go there so badly, you figure it out.
What a that's all for now. Guy. Sure. Yeah, I love him. A bunch of newspaper articles she wrote for a local rag. Her boss was a real piece of work. I'm glad she quit that gig. A tacky clock. All right, I lied. Sue me. I can't make heads or tails out of that thing. Fortunately, I can't use it anyway. It's a telephone. These things get smaller every year. It's full of trash. What do you expect? I would love to blow on this and make a mess. But I did that twice last week. You gotta pace yourself or the joke gets old. She reads them faster than I can count them. What do you want me to do, scare it? <laughs> if this is the best the kid can do, she's lucky I turned up. Hi, sweetie pie. I never saw Jack much, but he was a good kid. Smart, read a lot. I guess that's where Red gets it from. I can't touch it. I never saw Maria much, but she was all right. She liked to cook, is all I really remember. She dragged me out to that wedding, and I wouldn't let her forget it. Seems kind of frivolous now that I think of it. Look at her, all smiles. Was she really so happy? Or did the camera just catch her at the right moment? It was so long ago, I don't remember. This is called a remote control. She says it's supposed to turn on that television from far away, but I've never seen it work. I've never met anyone who read this much. No wonder she needs glasses. I remember when her aunt bought this for her. Was it almost 30 years ago? Jesus, I'm surprised it lasted this long. That plant is getting a little top heavy. I've got no interest in that thing. A rubber plant. Obviously fake. Just an old couch. She picked this up at a flea market a few weeks ago. She only played it once, then shoved it up here. She looked disappointed, but she didn't tell me why. <laughs> there I am, sitting on the sidelines. I don't know what possessed that woman to play tourist. Going all over the city, trying to get that sullen kid to open up. I told her it was a bad idea, but she was stubborn. For all the good it did her. Look at that little rug rat. If she knew the trouble she was causing, she didn't show it. I saw these things come into style and then go out again. I didn't get it then, and I don't get it now. The bedroom door. I don't enter a woman's bedroom uninvited. At least not a woman I live with. 